section, we're going to learn how to connect our Google Drive account for Blake to our Moodle course. So first thing we want to do is we want to uh, publish all of the files that we want to share in our Google Drive, our file storage um, that we want to publish in our Moodle course. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new browser window and I'm going to go to drive.google.com. Now I've already logged in so um, I don't need to worry about uh, doing so now and I'm going to go ahead and upload some uh, files. So I'm going to go into my finder and I have some files that um, I've created that I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload into Google Drive. So here are my two uh, documents that um, I want to convert into a Google Doc uh, to share with my students. And I'm going to go ahead and convert documents, um, presentation spreadsheets. It'll take a second for it to upload. And once it's complete, I'll see it says upload complete. I'm going to uh, go back into my course now. And I'm going to connect my Google Drive files to my course. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and choose to turn editing on. And then I'm going to scroll down in my course to where I want to locate my Google Drive files. So you'll see that I have an add an activity or resource and Google Drive files are, are resources. They're repositories um, that I can access uh, via my cloud storage. So I'm going to go ahead and click the file uh, resource and this is how I'll access uh, my Google Drive account. I'll go ahead and select the add button. And I'm going to uh, give my file um, a name. And I'm just going to give it the same name as um, I And then I'm going to uh, select the Add button under Content. And this will show me my file pickers, um, private files that I've stored on Moodle. Um, or, in this case, I'm going to select my Google Drive repository. I need to make sure that I log in and create uh, the ability for my Moodle course to access my Blake Google Drive account. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Login button. And you'll see that a pop-up window will appear uh, asking for permission to view uh, files and documents in my Google Drive account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Accept. And then in a moment, I can see all of my Google Drive files. Now this is really advantageous because now um, all my files are stored in the cloud and I can access them from any computer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a search for uh, the uh, uh, file I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do a search because I have a lot of files in my uh, Google Drive account. Um, and then I'm going to change the view in my repository so it's a little bit easier to see. So you'll notice in the upper right hand corner I can change the display type, so instead of by icons, I can display folder with file details. And I'm looking for my most recently modified um, uh, file, so I'm clicking on the last modified. And here it is, the outline for research proposal, last modified on June 30th. So if I go ahead and select that, I can select this file. And it will place this in my... Um, uh, my folder. When I save and return to the course, I can see it located here. I'm going to move it to the right so it uh, appears under uh, research paper materials. And now I'm going to switch browsers just so you can see what this looks like from a student point of view. So I've switched into my uh, student view. You can see that I um, uh, have the test student view. And when I scroll down and click Outline for Research Proposal, it will prompt me to open uh, the research proposal uh, with TuxEdit. The browser should do it automatically and download it. It's just going to treat this like a, a file repository, um, a file storage uh, tool. And that's a simple, uh, that's all there is to it for connecting your Google Drive account and files to your Moodle course.